for this opportunity to worship again this morning. And uh, before we begin the session of announcements, I would wish that we could rise. We have a word of prayer before we could proceed. Our Father and God, we thank you because of this Sabbath. We are here once again to thank you because of this opportunity. Lord, as we sit to listen to the announcements that shall be made, for the furtherance of your work, we ask that the Holy Spirit may rule. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. I wish to welcome everybody into this meeting for today. And uh, maybe those who have come to us for the first time, or those who do not worship regularly with us, I would wish that you may kindly raise your hands so that we can recognize you, because this is the time that we shall do the same before we proceed. We have no guests today. Those guests who are coming to us for the first time or for who are not our regular members, we would wish to kindly recognize you. It seems we have none. Uh, I wish to welcome all the estates that are represented here. I wish to welcome the choir members, choir members, wave. Uh, I wish to recognize the special group. It's not called the special group, it's called possibility group. Possibility, could you wave? Yes. Uh, we wish to welcome all the estates that are represented uh, in our worship for today. We have a few announcements and we would wish that uh, you keenly listen. Um, our speaker for today is uh, Pastor John M. Yambo. I'm told he has already arrived. Today is the publishing ministry Sabbath. He is ready to deliver that which God has sent him to do. Kindly pray for him as he ministers unto us today. Announcement number two. Uh, there is not going to be a church business meeting this afternoon after the service because Instead of that uh, uh, business meeting, we are going to have a special church board meeting. So all the members, all the members of the church board, kindly avail yourselves immediately after, um, after the sermon so that um, you could uh, tackle an agenda or two which has emerged. Number three, Tomorrow, which is Sunday, from 8 a.m. What time did I say? Uh, the ambassadors have a seminar on the church premises tomorrow. Kindly, ambassadors, avail yourselves here in the church compound. And uh, all the parents are requested to register. All the 16-year-olds, 16 up to 21, please register them with uh, just under shillings, which is payable to the director of uh, the Pathfinders for that very important seminar. There will be a station pathfinders drill exposition 
by drill exposition, I mean those things that you see the pathfinders do around here over um, during uh, the camp meetings. There are drills. Those drills are organized. So there is a seminar for the same, not a seminar, there is a drill exposition on the 21st of April 2024 at Oruba Nyamome Central, I mean Oruba Nyamome Church. So the Pathfinders, you are requested to meet the club director today at 4 p.m. so that you can organize for the same. And uh, all the Pathfinders are equally again requested to start registering for the field campory through their director. And uh, this is for for their campory that shall take place at Ongoro Matoso in December. The registration fees is 1,000 shillings and the registration closes uh, in June 2024. Um, Sister Maureen Odoyo, kindly rise. How many know this gracious lady? Yes. Tomorrow is a, her big day here in church. She is going to have the launch of her album. Sister Maureen, kindly remain standing. I'm, I'm not done with saying good things about you. She has a launch of her album tomorrow. And you know what the launching means. She has invited all of you. We want to hear her good music. We want to support her so that she can continue belting out those good tunes for our Lord and also for our consumption. So kindly tomorrow, Sunday, what time is it, Maureen? From 9 a.m. Satatu Asbui. Kindly be available and support her uh, by all means necessary so that she can succeed. Thank you, Maureen. Immediately I finish my announcement, Elder Muga is going to take five minutes so that he can bring us a promotion on the possibility ministry. So kindly mark the time. On the 17th of April, that is a very important date for the choir. Choir members are low. Something is happening on 17th of April. The choir is going to Eldoret purposely to evangelize. So put these people in, in, your, in your prayers so that they can travel safely uh, for that uh, uh, important exercise of evangelism in Eldoret. On 18th of April, there is a stewardship, uh, stewardship seminar at Nyamome, at Ragana, uh, at Ragana SDA Church. And this is a stewardship seminar uh, organized by the union. Kindly avail yourselves, and more particularly, church elders, stewardship, stewardship leaders, and the treasurers, they need to attend this seminar. This seminar is open. It is for all the members, but the members that I have stressed that should not miss are the ones I have stated above. On 20th of April, uh, the possibility ministry is congregating in our church here. And that is going to be their day. Elder Muga is going to say something about it as soon as I finish. On 21st of uh, April, the health ministry has organized for a seminar at Magena SDA Church from 9 a.m. This seminar must be attended by the, by the uh, health ministry's officials 
and it shall be starting from 9 a.m. at Magena SDA Church. Uh, lastly, today, team number three, development, is uh, conducting its Arambe. Um, you are welcome to join them. And as soon as Elder Muga finishes, kindly join up with this team so that we can progress with our development. May God bless you as uh, you take in those announcements. Elder Muga, now that you are translating, kindly move over so that you can proceed with uh, your five minutes. I hope the timekeeper is on toes. Good morning, church. Uh, thank you so much, Elder, for giving me this opportunity to do a promotion on our day, which has already been announced, that on next Sabbath 20th, we are going to have Adventist Possibility Ministries Sabbath, which is planned by the General Conference. It is a worldwide uh, awareness day which will uh, be done across the world. So Migori Central is one of the churches which do participate in this awareness. So I'm, I'm here on their behalf just to inform you that this great Sabbath will be here next Sabbath and we invite all church members to come and participate in the possibility, uh, this day is called Adventist Possibility Ministries. This name has changed uh, many times. We first started by the name uh, Deaf Ministry in the church, then Hearing Impaired Ministry, then Special Ministry, then Possibility Ministries. So now it is Adventist Possibility Ministries. The, re the main reason is to include everybody, because all of us are candidates of disability. If you are not at this time, but maybe you are in one way or the other. So next Sabbath, we are inviting you to come and hear more about this awareness. The day will not only be for Migori Central, but other Members from across the field will be here. The field leadership, that is Southwest Nyanza Field, has organized that all possibility ministry members will converge at Migori Central Church because this is the only church which has conducted this uh, awareness from the time it started. So they are coming to benchmark next Sabbath. So we expect our visitors to be with us here. So please let us welcome them and prepare to get more from that day from our field leader. At the same time, the church board of this church voted that we do a collection for the possibility ministries to help them uh, do their activities, which includes traveling for their uh, West, West Kenya Union, which is scheduled to take place in Nakuru. So please, we invite you to help us do this collection for the Possibility Ministries, and we invite all members to come with whatever God will bless you with. Please do accept to help them in that line. Uh, above all, I want to request you to pray for the group and for the day. 
that it will be done according to the way God has planned it. And may God bless you all for that. Allow me pray. Our Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for giving us this Sabbath again to come and worship you. Lord, I commit all the activities of this church into your able hands that they may be done according to your will. And above all, Lord, bless the members, members of this church and even the administration of the church. We have a day ahead of us next Sabbath for the purpose of the people with disability. Lord, may you guide us and even guide the speaker of that day. Lord, be with us. Be with even our activities of today and bless us all and we commit the speaker of the, of the day in your evil hands that everything may be which he will say will just come from you. Be with us for everything that we do, for we pray, trusting and believing in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Team number three, please. We would wish to do things unannounced, so you should have been around to proceed. Team three, development. Jimmy, he whose name 
is counselor and power, the protection of his children treasure is the church that taught himself in lay past the days the trend shall be in measure this the pledge to me he made help me then in every tribulation so to trust Thy promises, O oh Lord, that I lose, nor fed sweet consolation, O oh, find me within thy holy word. Help me, Lord, when toil and troubles be here to take comes from our Father's Till I reach the promised land. Song number 534. Five, three, four. Will your anchor hold? Will your anchor hold in the storms of life? Sing. Will your anchor hold in the storms of life? When the clouds are full, their wings of strife. When the strong tides lift from the pebble strength, will your anchor drift Fast and 
Love at home.
16. At the cross. 104, Faith of Our Fathers.
501 SBA hymnal to the blessed hour of prayer. Tis the blessed hour of prayer. Sing. Tis the blessed hour of prayer. When our hearts slowly bend and we gather to Jesus, our Savior and friend, if we come to Him in faith, His protection to share, what about for the weary? Oh, sweet. Tukushkuru. Umekuwa mwema kwetu, umetulinda wiki mzima, hadi tumefika sabato lako ambayo uliatakasa, ukaebariki na ukatupatia. Mungu wetu ni mungu wajabu. Leo ni siku ya neno lako, siku ya publishing. Bila neno lako, kanisa lingekuwa. Bila neno lako, atunge kwa hapa. Bila neno lako, atunge kwa hai. Lakini kwa kuwa we ni mwenye, mwenye rehema, umetuwe shesa, tumevama nguwe zetu, tumefika hapa. Leo, kuna watumisi wako ambaye ni wagonjwa, wengine wako mwa hospitalini, wengine wako nyumbani, wengine wanaugua, hata wakiwa pahali popote. 
lakini kwa kuwa we ndiyo daktari mkuu naomba ya kuwa uwaponye uwapatie mibaraka na wale ambaye wako na shida mbalimbali watoto wetu tuko nayo nyumbani ambaye wako likisho uwashingire wakiwa na wasashi wako karibu kurudi mashuleni lakini fedha na dhahabu wewe ndio unatupatia na sisi ni watu wako tunaomba ya kuwa utupatie njia ili wapate namna ya kuwalinda namna ambayo wata, watakuwa na hadi watakaporudi kanisa hili tuko na changamoto ya ugonjwa pia hata na wale ambaye wataenda safari waimbaji wataenda safari Utu, utulinde tupatie usafiri mzuri na wote katika West Kenya watalekea Eldoret utupatie magari mzuri malaika akitua usingira basi tufanye yale inatukusa wewe Mungu wetu mtumishi wako atasimama leo akinena isiwe ni yeye pekee lakini neno lako ndiyo itikuze naomba ya kuwa kila program ambazadas pia wako na events ambayo wako nayo basi uwalinde ukiwaelemisha kupatia hekima uwe nasi kwa kila tendo naomba utakuwa nasi kwa kila tendo nikiamini kwa jina la Yesu mkombozi wetu praise god from whom sing praise god from whom all blessings flow praise all creatures he belong praise him above the heavenly host praise father son na Mungu wetu waishie pali pa juu tunakushukuru na kulihimidi jina lako kwa vile wewe ni Mungu mkuu asante kwa siku ya leo asante kwa sabato ambao umetupatia naomba apate kuwa nasi na poendelea paka tamati naomba nikiamini kupitia nyota takatifu la Yesu Kristo mkombozi wetu amen If I say publishing or if I say the ministry of the printed page we say I will go I I just want to suggest that that is the slogan for the publishing ministry but let us get prepared if I say the ministry of the printed page you say I will go now let's start the ministry of the printed page Uh, the ministry of the printed page yes we are going with the ministry of the printed page today we are blessed to have the sabbath of publishing uh, according to the calendar of general conference of seventh day adventist and uh, here we also have a guest that has been sent by our southwest nyanza field But before that let me take this time just to welcome everybody to this special sabbath because we have been waiting for this day since the beginning of the week and we are happy that we are back all of us uh, I want to take short time just to recognize the presence of the possibilities ministries that are here uh, because they are also hosting us next sabbath kindly please may you rise and wave to us Oh, can you li- rise and wave to us? Okay. We thank God. We are going to see more than the number that is here next Sabbath. Uh, poss- possibly 
oh, God willing. We are happy that uh, on 17th, we are sending our choir team to Eldoret, and uh, it is a uh, prayer for the whole church that we pray for the safe travel on 17th, because this time round, they are going not only to sing or to perform, but for evangelism purposes. For you know, that is the main reason or the main mission for this church. So kindly, may I request the choir, uh, the local church choir, Migori Central Church, just to rise and wave to us because they are going to participate with us uh, on this pulpit. Okay, thank you very much. They are preparing now, and I think this is the last Sabbath they are preparing. Let us con continue praying for them because they are going to minister uh, gospel in tunes. Uh, in a, a very special way, I also want to recognize if there is any guest among us that is uh, worshiping with us today for the first time, kindly may you rise very fast if at all you are in our midst. Somebody who is worshiping with us here for the first time and is not a regular member of Migori Central Church, uh, we have identified one guest Somebody can extend a microphone to her so that she can identify herself very fast so that we welcome her in our special way. Okay. The communication team, maybe they're not there, but uh, I would wish that they do it very fast because we have limited time. Okay. Happy, happy Sabbath. Happy, happy day. Happy, happy day. Happy, happy Sabbath. I'm called Sarah Gada from Central Nyanza Conference. I have escorted my brother to this place, and I'm happy to be here this day. May God bless us all. Thank you very much. We welcome you, uh, Madam Sarah Ogada, to Migori Central Church. We are really welcoming. Uh, we want to recognize the presence of the the Council of Deacons and Deaconesses that are serving us today. Uh, they are coming from the estate of Onyinjo. I suspect so, but I think it is. The Onyinjo uh, members of the Council of Deacons and Deaconesses kindly rise up and now wave to us because we may have very little time. Okay, thank you very much. We thank you so much for your response. Uh, in a very special way, I also want to introduce the elders, the Council of Elders of Bigori Central Church, for the benefit of the guests that are here, and even the church members, we want to let you know that the elders are here, ready to serve at all times, every Sabbath. Kindly may you rise. Kindly may you rise. And on behalf of the elders, may I request Elder, Elder Philip Prabongo just to say, just to, to greet us. Thank you very much. We thank God for everything. Uh, before I do the last part of introduction, I want to thank the whole church for participating and responding to the call because today was meant for a team three. And I know many have actually tried. May God bless you for your uh, cooperation. I want to believe that in the next few minutes, be even before I leave this pulpit, we are going to get the result of the collection that has been realized this day. Uh, let me also bring to you the team that is going to serve us today uh, on pulpit. We have Elder uh, Evangelist Ezra Akiba, one of the literature ministry that we have, literature evangelists that we have in Migori Central. Kindly please, may you rise. Uh, we also have Elder Sefa Sonero, um, the second elder of Migori Central Church. We also, also have uh, Elder Maurice Gora. Kindly, please, may you rise. Uh, you can wave to us. 
Okay. You also wear back, please. Okay. This is one of the team. This is, these are some of the members that are going to serve us this day. And in a special way, I want to bring to you the speaker of the hour of the day. We have none other than Pastor John Yambo. Pastor John Yambo, uh, some people have known him as one of the lecturers in uh, universities, uh, and sometimes he's called Dr. Yambo. So Dr. Yambo is coming from Rongo, but he's sent here by the Southwest Nyansa Field to speak to us this day. He is also one of the professional literature evangelists that we have in this generation, and uh, is going far and wide, uh, a man who is vast in literature ministry, or the ministry of the printed page. So I just want to see by the show of hands, those who are welcoming Dr. Yambo, or Pastor Yambo, to minister to us this day as we continue to pray for him. Thank you very much. Pastor, we welcome you so much, and God willing, we hope that God is going to use you mightily to speak to us this day. Otherwise, may God bless us. Thank you very much. Okay, prepare now. Oh, we are going to use our Bible. Oh, the book we are going to use in reading is Psalm 40, verse 2. Psalm 40, verse 2. So you can read it in uh, the language you have. Let me use the local language here. It's very clear. Oh, in a sema, neo yuaya oko e no yuaya oko ebur motimo otodo. Neo gula echudo githidna. Neo keto tiendena elwanda. Kendo no mia kama utegnu mondo achungi. Let me read it again so that it can penetrate well. Read it in your language. Psalm 40, uh, verse 2. Inasema, Ne oyuaya, ne oyuaya oko ibur motimo todo. Ne ugula ichwudu githidna. Ne uketu tiendena elwanda. Kendono mia kama utegnu. Mondo achungi. God bless that reading in Jesus' name. Then we are going to the chorister. Let them be around so that we, co we, co oh, we continue in song. In Luo, it is 308. So uh, English SDA hymnal 696. Let us rise up. If you have uh, songs for worship books, it is number 696. But we will uh, request the communication scheme, uh, team to project it. He brought me out. He brought, he brought me out. My, My heart, heart was, was distressed. distressed. Sing. My heart was distressed, need the woman's distress, and low in the pit where my sins dragged me down. I cried to the Lord from the deep, Mary Claire, who tenderly brought me out of golden death. He brought me out of the
Everlasting Father, once more we want to thank you for gathering us together here this day of the Sabbath, a day that you sanctified and set apart for this purpose. Your servant is going to speak to us. It is our prayer that you use him mightily as the Spirit take charge of this congregation. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God is good and all the time. Uh, I'll convey the provision development report, the collection we've just done. A town we managed 2,430, Onyinjo 3,490. Total estate 5,840, APIDA 9,550, visitors 1,850, team 3, 3 379,800, total 402, 
960. What do you say? Amen. So we thank Team 3 for that wonderful result. Uh, we are going to proceed with uh, worshiping the Lord with our tithes and offering. I'll just call upon our deacons and deaconesses so that we do the collection. Uh, for those who have envelopes, please uh, write your name well with your telephone number. Uh, those who will be paying via the pay bill is uh, 777-585. 777-585. You indicate whether it's tithe, offering, or church budget, or development. May you rise, uh, deacons and deaconesses, as we pray. And uh, our choristers to be uh, here as they're going to lead us. Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time that we will be worshiping you in our tithes and offering. Father, may this uh, worship be acceptable for thee. Those who are going to give and those who are unable to give today, bless us together. Glory and honor be unto thee, for it's my prayer in Jesus' name. Song number 366, Oh, where are the reapers? Oh, where are the reapers that gonna in? Sing. Oh, where are the reapers that gonna in? The sheaves of the gold from the fields of sin. Oh, 
Happy Sabbath. Happy, happy day. Happy How many of us are happy? Parents, are you happy? No, I'm going to make a chini now. I'm going to add to Today is beginner's day from the age zero to three years. If you have your, a child who is three years and below, please join us. Uh, we are going to start with a prayer. Dashiell, pray for us. Happy Sabbath. Happy day. Happy okay, baby Dashiell Hope is going to pray with us. Let's breathe and we pray. Almighty Father, we thank you for the Sabbath. We thank you for the life of our teachers. We thank you for the life of our parents, God. As we want to start our story, we pray that you be with us until the end. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So this quarter we've been learning about breakfast by the sea and baby patience is going to give us a story happy sabbath happy day, happy day. Happy our story today is entitled breakfast by the sea based on the book of Ephesians 4:32, which says be kind to one another Peter and his friends went out fishing one night and all through the night they didn't get any fish and uh, in the morning 
as the sun was coming up, Peter and his friends were tired, and they were about to get out of the boat when someone called, Peter, Peter. Someone was standing by the seashore. When they looked around, Peter asked, who is that? And John says, it looks like Jesus. So Jesus told them, throw the net on the other side, on the right hand of the boat. When they threw the net, they caught a lot of fish, a lot of fish, both big fish and small fish. And Peter and his friends struggled to pull the fish into the boat. When they reached the shore, they found that Jesus had prepared breakfast for them. There was fire by the shore. There was some bread. And they were able to eat with their friends. So this story tells us that we need to be kind to one another. And that's the end of the story. Amen. Amen. We are going to sing our memory verse to remind us to always be kind. Beginners, let's sing our memory verse. Happy Sabbath. Happy day. Happy day. I have a memory verse. My memory verse comes from the book of Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 32. We say, be kind to one another. Amen. 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 And our song goes like this. Be kind to one another. Be kind to one another. Be kind, be kind. Be kind to one another. Be kind, be kind. And that night when we did not catch any fish, we had a song too. No fish, no fish. No. Sing. No fish, no fish. Peter and his friends got no fish. No fish, no fish. Peter and his friends got no fish again. No fish, no fish. Peter and his friends caught no fish. No fish, no fish. Peter and his friends caught no fish. Amen? Amen. And something happened. Jesus came and they caught a lot of fish. And here goes our song. Peter and his friends, they caught a lot of fish. Caught a lot of fish, caught a lot of fish, caught a lot of fish. Peter and his friends, they caught a lot of fish, caught a lot of fish, caught a lot of fish. Peter and his friends, they caught a lot of fish, caught a lot of fish, caught a lot of fish. Caught a lot of fish, Peter and his friends, they caught a lot of fish, caught a lot of fish, caught a lot of fish. Amen. Amen. Baby Henry is going to pray for us. Let's pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you because you help us caught a lot of fish. As we're going to the well, as we are going to the world. Let us catch many souls as you told us to catch a many fish. In Jesus' name I pray. Thank you. Thank you so much. What do we tell them? Amen. Amen. As uh, the children leave the stage, we are reminded, dear parents, that uh, from Monday, from Monday, Kwanzia Jumatatu Tutakuwa na VBS For our children The children are from beginners To the teens Usiache mtoto nyumbani Mtume kanisani Mtume na maji Pamoja na some snacks We are going to have our VBS From Monday Kindly do not leave the kids at home. God bless us in Jesus' name.
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Those who are behind there, praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you very much. Asante ni sana. God is great. Mungu ni mku. Now I want to thank the Lord for this day. Ningependa kumshukuru Mungu kwa siku ya leo. Thank you Pastor Odero for your kind introduction. Mchungaji asante sana kwa makaribisho mema. I came out here with some people. Anilikuja humu na watu wengine. I came with my son Warren. I don't know where. Warren where are you? Nilikuja na kijanango Warren. Yuko wapi Warren? Atusabai. Oh, I'm a potter. Warren is lost. Anyway, I hope he's around. Hata hivo, na imani yuko karibu. My sister also came here. Adadangu pia, yumu miongoni mwetu. She had greeted. Alisha atusabai. You can wave now. Unaeza tusabai kwa mara nyingine. Thank you very much. Asante sana. This is not my first time to be here. Isi mara yangu ya kwanza kuja umu. I've been here severally. Nimekua umu marakadha. Even the time when this church was not here, the old church. Hata wakati au mjenga ikuwa. But I normally take, I don't know, so long before I come. Uwa nachukua mda mwingi kabla sija kuja. I've seen so many friends of mine. Nimeona marafiki wengi miongoni. I cannot mention all of them. Siezi nikawataja kila mmoja. But I'm happy to see El Darabongo. Lakini ninafraia kuona mchungaji rabongo. I'm happy to see Eldu Diambo. Pamoja na Odiambo. Odiambo I knew in 1999. Omwaka elufu moja miya tisa tisi na tisa nilimfahamu Odiambo. Yes, when I was the pastor of Kisumu South. Alipo kuwa mchungaji kwa Kisumu. Thank you very much for keeping the faith. Asante sana kwa kuwa na imani kama hiyo. I also saw Mr. Uuma, who is our chief. Bwana Uuma pia ambaye ni chief wetu. Nili mtazama, nili mwana. And our elder, together with... Na mze wetu. Together with the Rabongo, they are my friends and my students. Ni marafiki zangu. Kwa sababu tulisoma na upia. My students. Ni wanafunzi wake. Ni wanafunzi wangu, samani. Elder Abisai, thank you very much. Uh, Abisai pia, na shukuru sana. Yeah, we sit with you in some important committees. Tuliketi nawe katika uh, kikao fulani muhimu. You can also say hi. Uneza uh, nyanyuka na kupungia umati. Elder Dero, pastor, having been a literature evangelist, kama moja wa waandishi, wa injilisi wa vitabu, and uh, we were almost voting that you come back to literature ministry. Tulikuwa tunajaribu kupika kura ili urudi katika ukazi ya wingilisti. Because we have so many, we have few people who have your capacity. Kwa sababu ni watu wachachi sana amba wanaweza fikia jinze ya uduma zako. Thank you very much. Ubarikiwe sana mchungaji. Now we also have our own literature evangelist here wakina Mrs. Ogweno. Vile vile tuko na evangelist wengine kama Ogweno. Um, Elder Akiba. Uh, Akiba mzee. Where is Mrs. Ogweno? Yes. Yeyule. Can you say hi in chorus? Pata marefa ya kumjua Yesu. Panda, panda, panda na Yesu. Thank you very much. Asante sana. Now today kwa hivyo leo is a publishing sabbath siku ya wawinjilisti I was requested by the publishing director uh, niliagizwa na uh, wawinjilisti mkurugenzi so that I come here ili nije umu we fellowship together ili tushiriki pamoja on matters pertaining to publishing ministry kuhusiana na mambo ya wawinjilisti that is why Sometimes we say, soma vitabu. Then you say, 
kupata maarifa ya kumjua Yesu. Soma vitabu. Pata maarifa ya kumjua Yesu. Yes, kupata maarifa ya kumjua Yesu. Thank you very much. Asante sana. I've given a presentation, a topic to my presentation. Eh, mada yangu ku rescued from a horrible pit. Kuokolewa kutoka kwenye eh, bibi la taka. Rescued from a horrible pit. Uh, kuokolewa kutoka kwenye biwi la taka. That one we find from the book of Psalms chapter 40. Hiyo uh, inapatikana katika kitabu cha Zaburi 40 mstari from verse 1 to verse 2 mstari wa kwanza hadi wa pili. And the Bible says, Biblia ya nuku, I waited patiently for the Lord and he inclined to me and heard my cry. Verse 2, he also brought me up out of a horrible pit and of the mighty clay and set my feet upon a rock and established my steps. Praise Nali, the Lord. Nalimngoja bwana kwa subiri, akaninamia, akaisikia uh, kilio changu. Akanipandisha toka shimo la uharibifu, toka udongo wa utelezi. Akaisimamisha miguu yangu mwambani, akaziimarisha hatua zangu. Bwana sifiwe. Let's pray. Na tuamini na tuombe. Our Father and our God, we are living in a sinful world where we are stuck in horrible pits of life. We pray, O oh Lord, that you help us to come out of these horrible pits to the printed pages. May you lead us, may you be with us, and may you come down to us and dwell with us now as we worship, for we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. In this world, uh, katika dunia hii, we are living in a time where so many things are happening. Tunaishi nyakati ambazo vitu vingi vinatendeka. And when David was writing this part of Psalms, Dawidi alipokuwa akinuku hiki kitabu, he was foreshadowing or foretelling us who the savior will be. Alikuwa anatuangazia jinsi uh, Yesu Kristo atakavyokuwa. And the whole of chapter 40, na katika hicho kifungu chote cha 40, the, uh, David is giving us a combination of praise and petition. Uh, Daudi anajaribu kutuambia uhusiano kati ya ku, uh, ku, kumsifu na praise and petition. Kumsifu na uh, kujibizana au kushindana. And then is petitioning God anajaribu kushindana na Mungu. He is 